Hi everyone. October 14, 2018. Some of you have left comments. What happened in South Carolina regarding the this hurricane? Hurricanes now, when they make landfall, they somehow fuel themselves on land to go through many states. That's quite new. But I've been trying to find out what is going on in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. Could you guys weigh in regarding what has happened if you live in areas that have been affected by Hurricane Michael? We were, uh, where I am in Anderson, South Carolina, Hurricane Michael, we were within that path. Well, we had the most gorgeous day that I can even remember in South Carolina, the day the hurricane was supposed to be hitting us. So nothing happened upstate, um, certainly not in Anderson, South Carolina. But, you know, in driving around that beautiful day, I hear on the radio that counties in South Carolina had flash flooding, power outages, and I'm still having difficulty finding the information. What is really concerning to me is, well, two things. My difficulty finding information now, especially when I was trying to do some research on the latest report coming out of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC sixth assessment, and I put in criticism of the IPCC sixth assessment. I could not believe how many climate change positive reports I was getting. I could not find any criticism. And you know, when these assessments have come out, the first five, they were loaded. You search criticisms of the IPCC, you were able to find so many articles posted on websites, scientists evaluating the science of the IPCC, and you got it immediately. Now, the search is so difficult. The search in finding what is going on in an area that was hit by Michael outside of Panama City and Mexico City, I'm having great difficulty. And I learned firsthand, having traveled to Baton Rouge after their flood, that mainstream media will focus on the area that is uh, most severely hit, leaving out the other areas where people have been flooded out or, you know, so many other people outside of Baton Rouge were affected. As I was driving into Baton Rouge, I pulled off the highway before getting into the city because I wanted to stay at a pilot. And when I pulled off that highway into an area that I can't remember the name of it. It was such a surreal experience because no stores were open, driving around, going, just making a right-hand turn onto a residential street that I didn't even know, and seeing all of the belongings of that were in those homes that were flooded. It was street after street after street. I, I and the police were still blocking off roads. The pilot that I wanted to stay in was closed due to damage. So it's not just Panama City and Mexico Beach though that was the area that got it the worst. There are other people in other states. Yes, the, the, the 
The scale of the destruction is far less, but nonetheless, the people who have been destroyed by these things should not be forgotten. The other thing that concerns me is Kess, a regular commenter on my channel who lives in North Carolina, who was worried that her power would go out or worried about f the possibility of being flooded, not just with Florence, but with her, uh, Michael. I have not heard from Kess. So Kess, if you hear this, please leave me a comment. Michael has now killed three in North Carolina. Schools closed. Uh, well, actually, this says 428. Duke Energy weighed in with 490,000 without power in North Carolina. Half a million without power due to Michael. The three deaths that they blame on Michael, they should be blaming on, well, indirectly the geoengineering and directly those who are spraying the toxic chemicals and heavy metals that fall down, that the trees are breathing, that get into the soil and kill the trees. So all of the, we, we're having a lot of deaths that they're blaming on the storms and they should be blaming it on the geoengineers who are killing our trees and the trees have been so weakened that they are now falling on homes or cars, killing people. So this was posted two days ago or two and a half days ago and they have ongoing flooding has the flooding stopped in North Carolina? Uh, Michael inflicted significant damage in the Carolinas, including flash flooding, down trees on roads. Among the worst hit communities was Kill Devil Hills on the coast, which warned residents on Facebook not to leave their homes unless it was absolutely necessary. So Kill Devil, you made it through Florence pretty uh, intact. Did you make it through, Michael? Worst hit community. Please stay inside. There is debris along roadways, protein, propane tanks floating in storm water, snakes that have come up with the sound. Um, South Carolina Department of Transportation reported 28 state roads and some coastal bridges had been closed Thursday due to the storm. State crews cleared more than 900 fallen trees. Aiken County. I do want to hear from you guys. Uh, in North Carolina, or no, I'm sorry, in South Carolina, three ramps have been closed at the interchange of Interstate 85 and 385 near Greenville. Well, 85 now is so congested that ramps being closed, that does cause an awful lot of disruption. Lexington County, South Carolina, deputies went door to door to check flooded homes after water overtook large sections of a neighborhood. Henderson County in North Carolina they had multiple water rescues. Forty roads have been closed in the county due to flooding and 18 people had to be rescued, including an SUV whose driver found her vehicle floating. I want you to know that, you know, when subscribers are regularly commenting and then there's a weather event in, in the area and I don't hear from you, this is what happens. You know, so I go checking to see what's going on in that area. Don't know if it's the uh, particular area of Kess. But I, I read these things and I go, go, go. I hope it wasn't Kess in the SUV that found her vehicle floating. God, you know, 
this is really a pretty intense time. So um, this this is oh my God. Watch these strange clouds that formed in Myrtle Beach after after Tropical Storm Michael. It's really unfortunate that people just will not do the research to find out that man is controlling the weather and these strange clouds that you're seeing are related to the geoengineering and the frequencies used to create weather. Yes, strange clouds, but we see strange clouds all the time. So are you not noticing how strange the clouds are? It's just this one little aspect here that you're noticing, hmm, something doesn't look quite right. All right. Um, There are now, I think, 19 deaths. Again, October 12. I put in, you know, I filter the searches to find the most recent information, and I'm not finding it. So a driver died after a tree fell on his car in North Carolina. Two others died when their car smashed into a tree in North Carolina. Um, in Seminole County, Georgia, an 11-year-old died when a portable carport was dropped on her home. The carport's legs punctured the roof and hit her in the head. Due to the winds from Michael, Virginia had five storm-related deaths, including two people who were swept away from their vehicles by floodwaters have anything else in this article? It's all about Florida. Um, the, I just want you to see this flood. This was from Florence in uh, North Carolina. And this was away from the coast. We are uh, down here on the River, River, uh, Hurricane Florence, 2018. And you can actually see the water line on the house right here. Um, as it compares to Matthew, um, there are so many the dock wheels, maybe it's still there. Put a card up there. Not who have just been ignored due to these storms. They always focus on the worst hit areas. This is terrific flooding. But then they get hit with Michael. So this is um, Rona They had flooding before Michael arrived in Virginia. Why aren't people putting these dots together and recognizing that nothing is making sense? This was before Michael. Power line. Uh, and I wonder if AP is showing us this, mainstream media, showing us that, oh, okay, every storm now, considering all of the trees that are toppling over and power lines, you know, just showing you this, people will go, good, I'm glad that our electric companies are turning off the power before the rains and winds and storm because look here this is what happens so this power line lands on a tree causes a fire we don't want that to happen we're living such a unbelievably bizarre time now this video just shows rain North Carolina but dam collapse flooding from Hurricane Michael. Um, Kernersville, a dam collapsed. I can't find any more information on that. This is a, apparently a river in North Carolina flooding out, but it doesn't seem to have been 
affecting any areas around the river, uh, or uh, should I say structures. All right, um, and this is Danville, Virginia. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Move, move, don't go through the water. Go back. They're cost stall, they're gonna be it. Don't do that, don't do that. Go back. I don't know all these people. So, what I'm saying is many areas did experience flash flood, dam collapse. Um, is that right? Is it accurate? So, I want to know what is going on. Interesting that they show Matthew when they're talking about Michael. And this is North Carolina or South Carolina. Um, so Michael brought three tornadoes to Columbia, South Carolina. They're showing a video of Matthew and Michael brings flash flooding to Irmo, South Carolina neighborhoods. So, when you think about all of the people who have been inducted, my God, just this past year, now there's the news of Michael. This is Florence. We have to change. We've got to begin to really reach out to our community members who are having to live the nightmare of these storms and the fires out in California all of the destruction that is taking place. But when you look at all of the flash flooding, and I have posted a lot of videos on the flash flooding that have occurred this year, just in our country alone, when you add up the totals and then add more to it, because there's an awful lot of more people that have been left out of the equation then uh, there's a lot of people hurting. They're still hurting from Harvey. They're still hurting from the fires a couple of months ago. Oh, the fires last year. You don't recover from these things overnight. So dramatic before and after images of Hurricane Michael damage. Wow. All right. Um, but it's, it's Florida. And here, the, it's a South Carolina news story about a woman that says crawfish were crawling all over the yard after Tropical Storm Michael. Um, are you guys getting really weird looking bugs? Are you seeing weird stuff after you get these um, storms? I don't know what to make of what I'm seeing. You know, what what it looks like fruit flies, but I'll put out bananas. They don't go over the bananas. They're not around the bananas. That's where they should be around. They're just all over um, in other areas, just not where they should be. And I don't know if they are actual fruit flies. And they should be gone because we've had some cold nights. So I don't know what, you know, it's really hard to assess 
accurately the reality of what we are living. That's why I now preface in many videos, we need to hear from honest people in the areas where they are living. Cass, please leave a comment for us letting us know that you are okay, all of my subscribers in these areas. Thank you for listening.